Welcome everyone. In this session, we're going to talk about how you can increase virtual resources on your guest VMs. Uh, vCPU increase or memory increase, that is the common things which system admins are generally doing. Uh, in this lab session, uh, I'm going to demonstrate two ways. One is graphical way, one is command line way to increase the resources. In both ways, I will prefer if you can shut down your VM uh, because many KVM features are still in preview. KVM is catering better day by day, but still some of the features are under preview. So you can shut down your guest VM. After that, uh, you can edit uh, the VM image configuration, basically version edit and your VM name. Then you can uh, change the parameter like vCPU placement static. Right now, two CPU. If you want to change it to four, just change the number. The memory unit, uh, you can see here, uh, this is the memory unit. Uh, this is 1 GB at present, 1048576. I'm changing it to 4 GB here in both places. Save the file and start your VM. Your changes are done. So let me give you a quick uh, demo. Here, if I see what are the domains I got on uh, this particular system, you can see we got lab VM 11. Here for this VM, I'm going to check uh, what is the current allocation. You can run wash dome info. As I mentioned, DOM info, guest VM, KVM guest, they are interrelated terms, so they will be interchanged many times. Uh, DOM info, sorry. Here, lab VM 11. You can see uh, there is no ID because the VM is in power of state. Um, here you can see one CPU and two GB RAM. This is the current config. Let's say uh, we want to change it to four CPUs and four GB RAM, how we can do that now. Uh, in graphical way, that's easy. Mm, let me show you graphical way first. Here you select your VM, application, system tool, virtual machine manager. You select your VM, click open, click this lamp button. Here CPU, right now it's one. You increase it, let's say from, uh, you added another three CPUs in memory, yeah, you have to say yes because you want to save changes memory you want to change it to 4000 approximately yeah apply and you can see changes are applied so changes are done in graphical way that's a bit easy but again uh, i will demonstrate how you can do the changes using command line also i'm reverting the changes i'm making uh, one cpu or oh, sorry two cpus which was before apply and uh, changing ram also to 2048 Click apply, closing this one because I want to do changes using uh, command line. I want to explain both ways to you guys. So let's check domain info. You can see, okay, it got uh, two CPUs instead one because earlier it was one. I've uh, remained uh, or left it to two. That's fine. For We will change it to two to four, two to four GB. Let's do it guys. So simply as I mentioned, wash edit your domain here uh, you will see some settings related to cpu and memory the first one is vcpu placement here i'm changing it from uh, two to four and here this is two gb i'm changing it to four gb approximately okay changes are done guys i am saving this file that's it i believe uh, let's run DOM info. You can see now there are four CPUs, four GB RAM, and now you can power on this VM. Sorry, it's lab PM11 now. Oh, it got issue with uh, this particular uh, image. It cannot access this particular image file because uh, in last session we have renamed uh, the VM. But we forgot to update uh, the file path. That's easy, no need to worry. Uh, here we will go to wash edit again, and here in the file path, which was uh, lab pm, here it was lab pm 11 now. Yeah, I have updated the right file name, and let's try to start. You can see now VM started, so guys, uh, that's easy. VM is started. Let's check by taking console. 
as I mentioned, uh, sorry, the console is already open. Again, same thing. Uh, let me close this uh, console which I opened in graphical one. Yep, now it should work. Yep, everything good. Uh, one thing, guys, as I mentioned during introduction, in KVM you can do OVO provisioning. Even my base system is having 6 GB RAM. Let's say I, I can uh, allocate more RAM. If my base system is having 4 GB or sorry, 4 CPUs, I can allocate 6 CPUs. So KVM supports over provisioning. Over provisioning is okay, but uh, personally, I don't recommend over provisioning. That's it in this session, guys. Thank you.